Can you talk us through the feeling out there of, of not being able to test yourself in, the, in a Club World Cup? Yeah, look, I think that's that's the most disappointing tonight. We, you know, it's conditions that you just cannot play football. Um, you know, it's closer to water polo out there than, than, than a football game. And, um, you know, I, I reckon we had their measure uh, as a football team. Uh, it's just disappointing that uh, that there's there's no way that you can go out there and, and play a respectable game. Um, a lot of things went against us tonight. Uh, a lot of things that were out of our control, and uh, you know, we kind of um, the team put a really good effort in, and we, we should be looking forward with smiles on our faces. But uh, there's a bit of disappointment, and we just move on to the next game and and um, take something out of it. At one nil up, uh, a top draw save to keep the ball out of the net. Uh, talk us through that and talk us through, uh, I guess, how much action you had to actually put in in the shift. Yeah, look, um, you know, that, that was probably the most critical thing that I had to do in the game. Um, you know, we, he had one in the first half that he hit straight across on the edge of the box and, and I felt he was going to do that rather than try and get it over the wall and I, I positioned myself a little bit more to the left and, and pulled off a good save, a very good save that, um, you know, definitely kept us in it at, at that stage. and gave us a lot of belief that uh, with 10 men we can go on and, and do it but um, you know decisions cost us in that game and uh, just yeah unfortunate we got a penalty call against us with a couple of minutes to go I, I think the boys did well I think besides that that free kick that I had to save they only really had a couple of half chances that, that really threatened us and um, you know uh, if it wasn't one of the boys that was uh, snuffing it out, it was, it was, it was myself. And um, yeah, look, in the end, I think even with 10 men, uh, I think we would have held on. With nine in these conditions, it just made it extremely difficult. And um, yeah, disappointed, but, but we know that uh, sometimes these type of games are taken out of your hands. Uh, looking forward to the next match, uh, we play the Algerian team, the, the African champions. Uh, tonight they were beaten by Auckland City, so we go into a 56 playoff against them in Marrakesh. Uh, looking forward to the match? Yeah, of course we are. Look, um, you know, we're, we've got a right to feel disappointed tonight, but, uh, you know, we have got another game coming up and we don't want to leave here, um, you know, we, with two losses. We want to hold our heads up high and, you know, it's unfortunate we've got two key players missing in the centre of defence. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll make amends for that and you know, hopefully we leave uh, you know, Morocco with our heads held high with, uh, with this second game because um, I, I don't think any of the boys can go home today and, and feel that uh, they, they let uh, us down, uh, they didn't put in a really good effort. Um, you know, this game was, like I said, it was out of our control in my belief.